From enjoying a peaceful meal in nature to almost becoming breakfast for an enraged apex predator. In this video, we'll look at what happened to a Canadian man who was attacked by a black bear right on his front porch. He was lucky enough to live to tell the tale, but not everyone in this story survived. This is the story of Joe Azugar. It was a peaceful May morning in 2013, and Joe Azugar was enjoying his decision to leave the madness of Toronto and move to a remote place. The change in scenery was huge. Toronto is home to millions of people, a cultural and financial hub. Moving from that kind of place to a tiny cabin in the middle of the woods is not exactly a walk in the park, but on that morning, Joe was proud of his decision. He'd made a huge decision by moving, but it still seemed like the right thing to do, albeit it had been only about a month since his move. In order to escape the chaos of Toronto, Azugar chose to live in a tiny cabin. His new home was just some 10 miles outside Cochrane in Ontario. The two places couldn't be more different. One was the most populous city in Canada. The other was a remote little home in northeastern Ontario. Northeastern Ontario isn't that far away from the major centers in the southern region of the province, but it's still far enough to provide some perks city people don't enjoy on a daily basis. Social distance in northeastern Ontario provides a good opportunity to grow one's connection to nature. A wide variety of animals roam the region. Birds, squirrels, hares, weasels and deer, moose and bears are just some of the creatures that can be spotted there. But living in the region is more than just spotting some animals. As Joe Azagar would find out, sometimes the creatures came up close and personal. Still, the 30-year-old man was happy with his decision. He moved to the tiny cabin in order to set up an internet entrepreneur business, away from the distractions and chaos of the big city life. Even more, he now had the chance to provide a home to some unfortunate animals. Azagar was a big animal lover. He'd rescued chickens and goats from multiple farms, and now he could raise them in peace. The man was also aware of the usual dangers that come with living in the middle of nature. His brother was a German shepherd breeder, and he'd encouraged Azagar to get a big dog for protection. Azagar thought it was a good idea, so he asked his brother to send him a dog. That's how he got Ace, a German shepherd. On that May morning, Joe Azagar and his dog were sitting on the front porch of the cabin. The man was enjoying breakfast, and the dog was lying beside him basking in the sun. As they looked at the trees, both man and animal seemed to enjoy this quiet time. It was bonding time for the two of them. Azagar had gotten the dog only a week before, and it was only the past two days that they started forming a connection. Life was good. But at one point during his breakfast, 30-year-old Joe Azagar heard something unusual. It was like a vibration. It was like something huge was making the earth itself shake and tremble. It soon became very obvious the thudding sound was getting closer and closer. When Azagar looked to his side, he stopped breathing for a second. The source of the sound was charging toward the small cabin and its inhabitants. It was a 400-pound black bear, and it looked intent on attacking both the man and his dog. Ace, the German Shepherd, wasted no time before jumping at the bear. The two animals started fighting. The sounds of their struggle filled the air. As they wrestled for dominance, all Azagar could hear was howling and banging. Meanwhile, the man couldn't and didn't want to sit around and wait and see what was going to happen. He had to help the dog chase away the beast. Because the creature was a black bear, the man started making as much noise as he could. He grabbed some pots and pans and began banging them, hoping the racket would scare the animal away. Azagar also grabbed his phone and called one of his friends to let him know what was going on. At that point, he knew he was going to need as much help as possible. It looked like Ace, his new dog, was losing the fight. It didn't take long for the bear to kill the brave dog. As the beast dragged Ace toward the bush, Azagar made it safely inside the cabin. But his home was tiny, and the bear was very determined to get to the man. In a minute, the beast came charging toward the back of Azagar's cabin. It was a sight no one ever hopes to see. The man watched in horror. It dawned on him 
In a few seconds, he was going to die. Nothing short of a miracle could save him. Still, adrenaline kicked in, and his survival instincts urged him to act. The bear broke the window and tore the shades away. Then it started squeezing itself through the window opening. His huge paws were already on the small bed when Azagar started throwing things at the bear's face. The creature wouldn't budge. It was like it didn't even feel the hits. In a few more seconds, it managed to get its whole body through the window and broke into the cabin. Sharing an already crowded space with an angry bear is the stuff of nightmares. Azagar ran out of the cabin and closed the door behind him, as if that was going to deter the bear. As you can imagine, it didn't. The creature came crashing through the door and chased the man down. The 30-year-old ran as fast as he could, but it wasn't enough. You can't outrun a bear. The creature threw him in a ditch. It was surreal, something straight out of a horror movie. But when the bear's forepaws touched Azagar, the man knew it was real. And then the bear opened its jaws, its massive teeth peeling the skin off the man's head. Oh, dear God, don't let me die like this. Don't let my family find me like this, Azagar said out loud. The bear started chewing while also trying to turn the man on his back. It seemed like it wanted to tear the man's insides out. But Azagar didn't give it the chance. He fought as hard as he could in his situation, kicking and screaming. Nothing scared the bear away. It turned its attention to Azagar's skull, peeling the skin off it, and simply started biting it. The man jammed his thumb into the creature's eye, which made it stumble back a bit. Then it went back to Azagar's shoulder. The man felt he was going to die soon. He couldn't move. He couldn't fight back. Couldn't do anything. It felt like an eternity had passed since the bear first knocked him down. He could see its bloodied face, the crazed look in its beady eyes. The awful smell of the creature turned the man's stomach. It smelled just like dead animals. The man looked around, but he wasn't trying to escape the bear's jaws anymore. He was exhausted. He couldn't keep fighting. And then his miracle came. All of a sudden, he saw a car pulling over. The two women inside didn't even see the man at first, but when they did, they used the car horn, hoping the loud noise would scare the bear away. It did. The creature ran away, leaving Azagar on the ground. With the last ounces of his strength, the man got up and walked toward the car. Please, help me, he screamed. The two women inside rushed him to the hospital, where Azagar had to get more than 300 stitches for the extensive injuries on his shoulders and head. A photo taken by a friend shows Joe Azagar on his hospital bed, his blood all over the white sheets. The man was thankful for this second chance in life. Most of all, he was thankful to the two campers that saved him, although he didn't know their names. Both Azagar's mother and his girlfriend came to comfort him at the hospital. The bear was tracked down and killed by the Ontario Provincial Police and the Ministry of Natural Resources after the incident was reported. In an interview, Azagar said he was glad the creature was dead, mainly because his neighbors had children that could have been in danger. As for his plans after the attack, the man said he wanted to get some rifles and bear spray and keep on enjoying the outdoors.